hi guys thanks for joining me for today's lesson i hope you're all doing great today in the previous lesson we looked at calculating how much fabric you need for your tails when making your swags and tails in today's lesson we will look at calculating how much fabric you will need for your swags the first thing you need to decide on is the measurement for your finished swag you'll need to decide how wide your swag is going to be and how deep your swag is going to be i have a window well a box on my whiteboard that represents a window that's 60 inches high and 60 inches wide we will use this in our calculation i am going to decide to use three swags on this window so what i'll do is do a swag that starts at one side to the middle and then from the middle to the other side does that look like the middle no not really it doesn't look like the middle so let's try to middle it a little bit okay so i think that's more like it then we will mount another swag number three on top which means that it will come from the middle overlap from the middle of the one swag over here to the middle of the other swag now there are a myriad of styles that you could use but this is just for calculation sake how wide would one of these swags be well if we're going from the end to the middle here and the window is 60 inches wide it means then that the one swag here will be 30 inches the other one would be 30 inches and also the one that we put to overlap at the center would be 30 inches the next thing you need to consider for your finished swag is the depth the depth of your swag will be from the top here to where it stops now in a previous video when i gave you some general guidelines for making swags and tails we mentioned that the swag should not sit further than one sixth of the height of your window so if the swag sit in one sixth of this window that's 60 inches high this depth will be 10 inches so we have a finished swag that is 30 inches wide by 10 inches deep those are the two important measurements that you need to consider to begin your calculation the width of your swag and the depth of your swag so now we have these numbers let's move on to calculating how much fabric i would need for these three swag so our next step is to look at our cut swag and we will start with the width the width is 30 inches we will need to add one inch for seam allowance so let's add one inch so we have 31 inches the next thing that we need to do is add um inches for draping now it could be anywhere from four inches to ten inches or even more depending on the look that you're going for and that your your overall design right but for calculation sake here i will just add eight inches 
and that is for draping because your tails you pleat your tails and you drape your swags so this eight inches is for draping and that equals 39 inches so the overall fabric width is 39 inches we know that fabric widths for decor comes in 54 even 60 inches even double widths 118 inches wide right so if that's the width for your swag is 39 inches then one width of the core fabric will cover one swag no doubt about that so let's move on now to the depth the depth of your swag by the way i should mention that in some instances this across here you will see referred to as length However, I like to stick to width because it's going across. And yes, you can have length that goes across, but I like to stick to width just to avoid the confusion, okay? So just a side note there. So the depth of our swag will be taken from the length of the fabric, up and down. To begin with, the depth of our finished swag is 10 inches then we have to add one inch for seam allowance that's 11 inches then we have to add inches to mount the swag on our mounting board so the swag has to drape over the mountain board and hang in front of it now in the calculations for tails i use a depth of mountain board that was four inches so let's stick with the same depth for the swags so we'll add four inches to this that doesn't look like a plus doesn't it look like a seven we'll add four inches to this 11 inches and that's going to be 15 inches so we will need 15 inches of fabric for one swag if you should draw something it would be like this the piece of fabric that we need for one swag is 15 inches by 39 inches but in this design we are using three swags so we'll go ahead and multiply 15 inches by three let's do some long multiplication so that's 15 by three three fives or 15 we carry the one three three ones are three and one four that's 45 inches we will need 45 inches of fabric to make our three swags but we don't buy fabric in inches we go in the store and we ask for yards so to find out how many yards of fabric we will need we divide 45 by 36 because they're 36 inches in a yard so that's gonna be 136 that's nine we have a point here so we have to add the zero here and we have two two six is twelve two three seventy two a one a a and so we we're gonna need like um, 1.2 yards of fabric so we never round down we round up so in order to make over three swags we need 1.5 yards 
of fabric and for insurance you could even buy two yards and you can use the extras to make cushions to coordinate with your window treatments that's how you calculate how much fabric you need for your swags guys if there's anything you don't understand just comment below ask a question i'm more than happy to answer your questions thank you so much for watching for subscribing and if you know somebody who can use any of the videos that i post on the channel any of these lessons please share with them thank you so much i appreciate you immensely and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell button so you will be notified of new videos you take care now and i'll see you in the next lesson by the way you will need the same amount of fabric for lining your swags cheers